Hello, my name is Mark Brown. I still teach at Wisconsin Lutheran College in Milwaukee, and I'm glad to have you with us today. Uh, today's reading is from Matthew chapter 13, starting at verse 47. It is one of the last of a series of parables that Jesus told about the kingdom. Once again, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. We have probably always heard calls for unity and harmony, but it seems as though we are hearing more of them in these last months uh, from politicians and leaders, from business people, certainly uh, from some people in the church. Uh, we should have harmony, and people will even present themselves as the unifiers. And yet, at the same time, the distances and the differences, the distances between us and the differences between us also become apparent. And it seems as though the chasm between groups goes deeper and wider. And uh, there is usually the encouragement to, uh, um, let's get along, let's talk with each other. But it seems that's a difficult road also sometimes. Now what Jesus talked about in this parable of the kingdom has to do with uh, both the unity and the separation. Because he says, in a way, the whole world and everybody in it is like the ocean, and the ocean is full of fish, and there are all kinds of fish in there, and I don't really know exactly what a good fish or a bad fish would be, but they all live together for now and have to coexist with each other. And that's the way it's going to be until the end comes. There's a temptation to try to separate the fish before um, that end time comes, before the harvest of the fish occurs. And uh, Jesus in this parable and in other parables warns that that can't really be our business yet, and we have to be careful about that because we may not make proper judgments about the fish. We have to leave that up to God. Jesus says at the end, there will the fishermen will be putting down their nets, and right now the fish are free to move about, and the time will come, however, when the net will pull all of them in, and the fishermen will then, when they're pulled in on the shore, separate the good ones from the bad ones, and the good ones will be kept, and the bad ones will be left out. So in God's picture of things, we live right now in a world in which everybody grows up together, and uh, we may see people that um, get themselves into trouble, perhaps uh, break the law and uh, must be punished for it. Uh, people have different viewpoints on things. And in the meantime, we do have to find a way to coexist with each other um, while we make sure that we hold on to our own beliefs. But the time will be coming, and the scripture in many places calls this judgment day or uses pictures such as this of the harvest of the fish at the end to say that there will come this time where God will separate. Now, Jesus said that uh, the fishermen will separate the good fish from the bad, and he doesn't give any deeper explanation of what that would mean. Um, the whole of Scripture, however, shows us that the dividing line will be actually Jesus himself. Do people believe in him as their Savior, or do they reject him? And so Jesus said, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. He said, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Anyone who believes in him is not condemned. Now, that may sound harsh, and I know that there are people who are angry with Christianity because of that element of judgment, and they would say, can't we just all get along? Why not accept everybody the way they are? But God is also a just God as well as a merciful God, and so he has provided a way where bad fish can become good fish in this life by trusting in the merits of the forgiveness of Jesus. 
And that will be the key question that will be asked at the end. Did you accept this message of forgiveness and freedom and uh, God's new life, or did you reject it because you wanted to still have things your own way? That will be the division. And nobody is excluded um, by God's decision because he wants all people to be saved. God so loved the world. And so in many ways, being separated from God will be the last final act of people in their lives when they have rejected this Savior all along. That is uh, kind of sharp news, but that is also the reason that Christians want to share this good news with others, want them to believe in Jesus, so that when the judgment comes, they and those they love will be on the side with Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, sometimes you, in your words and the other words of the Bible, give us difficult messages, which may be hard for us to always understand and may, which also may not be popular with other people. Help us above all to remember what you have done for us and for all people in the world by bringing forgiveness through your life and death. Help us to break down our stubborn hearts to accept that message and help us to look forward to the day of judgment, not with anxiety because it depends on our good works, but with eagerness and confidence because it depends on your good work of being our Savior. This we pray in your name. Amen.